Build quality, like a four out of 10. It hurts my soul. Garbage out of 10. <laughs> this might actually be the worst guitar I've ever. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I recently did a video called I bought the cheapest electric guitar on Amazon. And at the time that was true. It was the cheapest guitar and I'll share the video in the description. You can check that out later. Go watch it on your own time, not on my time. If you're asking what I do with that guitar, well, I bought it and I made a video about it. That's what I did with that guitar. Then I promptly returned it for a full refund. It wasn't good. Amazon has a good return policy, so don't worry about it. Anyways, after the video came out, a viewer left me a comment. He said, uh, there's something even cheaper. You got to check it out. So I thank you for pointing that out. You know who you are and where you live. I don't, but you do. So, and it's true on sale, of course, which makes it the cheapest electric guitar on Amazon. And that would sound way better with reverb. Let's add some effects. The cheapest electric guitar on Amazon. So I bought it and we're going to check it out. So this time, $119, 30 bucks cheaper than the previous guitar. That's 119 Canadian, which is uh, approximately 87 US. And I guess the trend could continue. Like if someone points out the guitar that there's the one that's like 118.99, technically cheaper, then I have to make this video all over again. Please don't do that and point it out. I'll, I'll ignore the comments. I'm good. I'm good for now. These, these videos are fun. I won't lie. I, I usually lie, but I won't this time. What is it? Okay. You're gonna have to help me with the name. I don't really know. Batuti electric guitar, professional music equipment, poplar body, hard maple neck, laurel wood fingerboard. That's the official title on Amazon. I'm not even making that up. Not even sure how you say the name. The, am I even saying it right? I just have, you know, I'll just give my honest opinion about the name too. I don't know, is the B silent? Is it Tootie? Or is the T silent? Is it Beauty or Booty? Uh, or both? T is silent? Is it Buy? That's some subliminal marketing there for sure, if that's what it is. Whatever it is, it's terrible. It's a bad name. That's it. I don't really care about the origin. And again, I'll give it a shot. You know, I don't have high expectations of these guitars, but it's fun to check them out. Sometimes you find a gem in a pile of lemons. It's possible I'm being optimistically pessimistic in this case, but hey, so if you were someone looking at Amazon at the listing, this is what you would see. So here are the official images on Amazon. Let's take a look at the photos and see what you get. Then we'll see if that's what you get in the box. That's really the fun part because uh, how messed up is the Amazon description compared to the actual product? And then we'll open it up and we'll plug it in and play it. So let me load up the screen here. So I'm just a regular weird person like I am and I'm bringing up my Amazon and the Amazon's like, hey, you want this guitar. So let's bring up the photos. Okay. So first image here, I looked at it. I'm like, Hey, that's uh, not half bad looking, you know, it's like a dark fretboard. It's a telly style clearly. And it's blue. That's two, two check marks for me. Okay. Next photo here. Looks like a satin finish on the back tuners and a 40 inch guitar, 22 inches wide, 4.2 inches thick. Here's where things start to get interesting. You've got a Chrome knob on the top plastic piano pillow. Oh, this is the first time I'm looking at this. So a crimping button, you got ca copper alloy fret. Okay. Stainless steel strap, a Nico pickup. Great. Tremolo bridge. I don't think so. There's not a tremolo bridge in there. It's just a uh, hardtail. You got a three speed <laughs> volume buttons, tone buttons. None of that's true. Okay. Let's move on. This is gonna be good. This is already good. Modern C shaped neck could be true. We'll find out. Looks like 22 frets. Uh, okay. You got a 42 millimeter high density bionic technology wood fingerboard. I'm going to, what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Two millimeter copper alloy fret. I don't really know what that means either. Radius of the fingerboard arc. Well, that's what a radius is. It's the arc 9.7 to 15.5 inches. So it's a compound radius and I'll check that out. I, I don't know if I'll measure it, but I'll just try to feel it with my hands. And uh, here we go. There's some actual non unretouched photos, right? You know, clearly this guy's definitely, I don't know. The guitar looks kind of weird. You got the cable coming out down here instead of in the, uh, the output jack. And then I don't even know if uh, oh, he's got no strap. He doesn't have a strap. So it's just floating there. And then this guy's doing some crazy solos. That is a gig bag, I guess, that you get with it. We'll find out. And uh, there's two friends just like she's loving that she's playing it. 
That's some awesome photoshopping. I gotta say, A plus on the on the photoshops, how for how bad they look. Backpack. This comes with a backpack and a strap, cleaning cloth, capo, tuner, and a connection line. I want to see if it's actually rolled up like that in a spiral. I'm, get, I'm getting hypnotized. I'm getting hypnotized. Literally. Um, more about this item. Reliable quality. Exquisite workmanship. It's got three speed adjustment. Okay, enough about the site. Let's get the let's get the box out. It's over here. I'll grab it. Okay. Let's move you away. This is how it came. This is how it was shipped from Amazon. Um, I don't have a knife on me, so I'll try to use a pick here. That's not gonna work. What else do I got that I can use? Well, that's good. See? See, thin picks are good for something. I thought they were useless. There we go. More pieces of tape. Fragile, do not drop. Um, you'll see the name on the front, it's called Amun. I've seen that brand before, and I don't know where. I feel like, I, honestly, I don't know. I just, the name sounds familiar. Okay, so let's uh, get a good angle here. We'll open it up. All right, here we go. It's got the cable, not coiled up like they said, but it's it's there. Uh, all the accessories we got, oh, they didn't mention that. So it has strings. Take a look here. Hopefully the strings are on the guitar and these are spare strings. Uh, I got a guitar capo, kind of cool. Got a green tablecloth, tuner, and uh, a couple picks and Allen keys. Nice. So that's that's pretty much what they said. So far, it's what they said. Now let's check this out. Um, Strap. Uh, this is probably a guitar strap. That's what it looks like. Got a gig bag. That's uh, kind of a gig bag. It's sort of more just a desk cover. It's got a little bit of padding in it. Let's actually take that stuff and stick it in here. Because uh, I won't fit. Never mind. Okay, got a gig bag thing here. And a moon. That must be the brand. That almost looks like Amazon's logo. Yellow. Here we are. Here's the moment of truth. It's actually a full size, unlike the other video. Okay, so we'll take that out there. Um, so far, so good. So far, so good. I want to see this um, bionic technology. All right, I'm ready for the bionic technology. I'm ready for the bionic technology. Get out of here. 119 bucks. What does that get you today? Okay. Go over here. I really don't like that styrofoam. It's just uh, squeaks. It squeaks too much. Three speed. That's uh, probably low, medium, high. Uh, knobs feel good. Paper. I think they put this on. Either to stop for two reasons. So it's got that silica salt. Either to stop the strings from rubbing on the frets, or just for people that like taking paper off. It helps them. No, I, I don't know if it's for that or if it's for um, or if it's to prevent rusting. I don't know if that helps. Okay, so we're gonna go top to bottom, and then we'll plug it in. Alright, let's tune it up. Satin neck feels nice. Uh, what did they say about the, the, the nut? It's like a pillow or something? I can tell you right now. Right now while I'm doing this, I'm almost slicing my fingers. On, not, not on the tuners. The tuners feel okay. They're just, I oh that one's pretty loose. Does anybody else wince when they're tuning? I'm just, I'm afraid the string's gonna pop in my face. This B tuner sucks. Yeah, it's having, it's got like locking problems. It's nice and light though. Um, kind of reminds me of a Donner, Donner, but 
yeah, that's like, if I went like this right now, if I slid my hand down there, I'd be slicing, I'd be slicing my hands up. Well, actually, let's, let's try it on this plastic bag. Plastic bag with no rips in it. How's that look? How do you like them rips? And you're like, that's not accurate because you can do that with other guitars and it'll rip. That was a strap. This is not gonna sound good. Bear with me. Okay, just. I know every guitar. I gotta keep in my mind, 119 bucks. I'm having trouble already right now. I'm telling you, the tuners are junk. Really bad. Especially this B tuner, it just will not catch. It's just like slipping and flipping and... Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it anyways. That last guitar I did, the uh, Lix Pro have better tuners. Every guitar is a, a guitar. You can quote me on that. It's a fact. Now what I mean, every guitar is made by a person. No matter how many robots touched it or did whatever to it, right? Oh, it's actually the plastic. Yeah, the plastic is like stuck to the frets. Fretting out. Very flat fretboard. I said it goes up. What's that technology on the fretboard? I don't believe it. Everything's fretting out open even. Frets aren't as aren't as scratchy as that Lix Pro. It's really it's really unplayable. Um. So I guess uh, I tried. You know, there's a reason things are the cheapest thing that they are. Could you do anything with this? Maybe. Uh, strap on is loose here. I don't know. I, I say the neck, the the you know the finish, the satin finish is nice. Headstock looks decent. Tuners are not good. The nut is probably it's got to be cut poorly, or if it's the it's bowed a lot maybe. Uh, you can tell I'm kind of out of things to say. There's a, there's a reason things are the cheapest thing that I just said that already. Okay, here we, this is it. This is the Tootie, but Tootie, I don't recommend this guitar. Don't, don't even, don't, just don't even click. Don't click on, well, you can click on the link to see the specs. Check out the specs on it. It's ridiculous. Okay, so here's my final opinion. New to guitar, don't buy it. You're a modder or somebody that can take a guitar and do stuff with it. Maybe, maybe give it a shot. Uh, you might be able to take the body and do something. I can't say what the specs are on the neck, if that would fit a better neck. It's not good. This is a really bad guitar. This might actually be the worst guitar I've ever... I've been pretty lucky with the guitars I've received on uh, Amazon. Like that Lix Pro was better than this, for sure. Even though it was not advertised as what it should have been. I need to bring this a little bit closer. Yeah, so final. Let's give it my fake rating that I did in, like, in the last video. Um, do like uh, build quality. Like a four out of ten setup. 
uh, D minus out of out of 20, and uh, none of these figures mean anything. <laughs> it's, the sharp edges just kill me. It really hurts. It hurts my soul. My ah ha ha. PG, keep it PG. And uh, sound garbage. Setup garbage out of out of 10. Garbage out of 10. <laughs> I don't, I, this is where the script has gone over, and uh, I'm kind of. Uh, I, I sort of, uh, when I, uh, when I got this, please don't, please don't point out other guitars like this. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. No, this was fun. This was fun. This is, this guitar is going back hundred uh, percent. I'm not even going to try anything with it. It's not worth my time. It's not worth your time. And I uh, hope I didn't waste your time, except maybe we had some fun and you got to check out some, go watch my other videos. They're way better than this one. Come on. This is, this is not. A good video. All right, as always, play guitar and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. And I got to pack this up and send it back. ASAP. Pronto. Oh, man. Man. You are. You were. That was. I feel bad for the delivery guy who had to bring this. Oh, <laughs>